Hi, it's Mike from Mike's and Mike's and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to look at an annoying problem which seems to be very prevalent in NVIDIA graphics cards. And perhaps if you've swapped over your graphics card or you've just purchased a new one, you've installed it, got all the latest drivers and all that kind of stuff, but you get this weird checkerboard artifact in, especially in anything which is Chromium based, such as Chrome Browser, Discord, and various other applications, and even some games. Now you may be thinking that your graphics card is faulty as checkerboarding or artifacts on screen generally do relate to problems with the graphics card and you may be thinking that you need to RMA it. Well fortunately you may not have to due to a very simple thing in Chrome which you can actually change which is based on the way that Chrome actually renders your pages. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you what you need to do and what actually fix the problem for me. Okay, so this is my Windows desktop, got the latest version of the graphics drivers for NVIDIA graphics card. So let's open up Chrome, and what we want to do is to type in at the top here, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash, then flags, and hit enter. And there's various different things you can go in here to tweak the way that Chrome works. Now the one we want to look for is called choose angle graphics backend. So this one here. So basically you'll probably find that yours is set to default if you're experiencing this problem. And again, you can change this. They do refer here to NVIDIA GPUs. And what you want to do is to click on this box here for the down arrow. You've got various options on there. Now you can choose whichever one you particularly want to. I would avoid default and D3D 11 on 12. The ones you want to be looking at is OpenGL, Direct3D11 and DirectX9. Now for me personally, I prefer to use OpenGL. This for me has worked very well and has removed all of the artifacting from any of my Chromium based products. So I would certainly recommend that one, but you can also choose this one here, the DirectX9 version. Again, you can cycle through them, choose which one you want. When you've selected the one you want, click on relaunch down here at the bottom and that will relaunch your browser. And then you should find after that, all of your Chromium based stuff works absolutely fine. Now, of course, if you're still getting problems after doing this, you can try the other one, the DirectX 9 version. But if it continues and you're also getting artifact in, in possibly other things as well that aren't Chromium based, then potentially you might have a graphics card fault, in which case you would need to diagnose that. We've done videos on that previously, which I'll try and link in the video description. So there you go, there is a pretty simple way of fixing some of the checkerboarding you may be experiencing in your Chromium based apps, including obviously Google Chrome, YouTube, all those kinds of things. If this video is helpful for you, please give it a like. Also, if you want to see more content of like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.